According to famed early 1900s actor Will Rogers, you never get a second chance to make a first impression. Whether it was this exact quote or some variation or even life experience, we've all heard this before. And I gotta say, it's pretty true. First impressions are vital for establishing connections and putting your best foot forward. The way I see it, a first impression is the seed of a plant. The analogy relationship plan, I guess? I, I don't know, just hear me out. If you start off by planting that seed in a good place and treat it well initially, then it has potential to grow into something meaningful. If you do the opposite, it can sour things fast and kill off any real connection potentially. Poor plant analogies aside, this idea of a good first impression isn't exclusive to human interactions. Most artistic mediums rely on establishing a great footing with the person experiencing the work. It can be a hook, establishing a setting or a theme, introducing a tone, act as a tutorial, or a combination of all these things. And this can work opposite as well. Nothing is worse than a bad introduction. It can be so detrimental to the point where people will reject the rest of the work entirely. And this has no bearing to the quality of the rest of the artwork, it's just if you can't bring people in, they're not going to experience it. Reeling this back into games, the point I'm trying to make is the prologue has a lot of power. And with great power, there must also come... Shoot, I forgot the rest. At this point, you're probably asking, what does this have to do with Celeste? And to that I say, I'm getting to it right now, would you just give me a sec- <laughs> Joking aside, if you can't make an inference from the title, Celeste has one of the best prologues I've seen in modern gaming. This game has a lot of great things going on, but I feel like this aspect of the game gets overlooked. So, we're going to shed some light on this intro and show why it's so effective. What makes something good or bad is always different depending on who you ask, so I'm going to lay out what I believe makes a good prologue in a video game. First and foremost, a good prologue sets up the mechanics and rules of the game. This should be pretty self-explanatory, but if the game doesn't teach you the means by which the game operates, then it doesn't matter how good any of it is. What's the point of level 8 if I can't even get past level 1? This is a medium of interaction, so demonstrate it. The famous principle of show don't tell applies here, but at the very least the game should leave no ambiguity on this front. There's a fine spectrum to it all. You don't want to over explain your controls to the literal point of having your controller on the screen, but you also don't want to just throw your player in the world without having any explanation whatsoever. Second, a good prologue acts as an introduction to the narratives and themes. This again is pretty self-explanatory. A game should start by probing the ideas that it is presenting. Where am I going? Who am I playing? What should I be paying attention to? Etc. Similar to mechanics, this shouldn't be functionally ambiguous. You want to explain just enough to get the story going. You don't want to lay all your cards out at once. Third and finally, a good prologue is as short as possible. I cannot stress enough how much I despise long prologues. Games that take hours upon hours to set up the gameplay or narrative fail on several levels. First off, this immediately allows the player to disengage and go with the motions. After the hour mark, forget it, the player's probably already on their phone. Second, this allows for bad pacing early on, which effectively has the same result as the first point. I'm not saying games should just start and boom you're ready to go, but it shouldn't take multiple hours to get there. I love SMT and Persona, but dang it I'm calling you out here. These three major points of prologues are what I find importance in, and Celeste delivers these in spades. First, the prologue of Celeste introduces the fundamentals without any ambiguity. Jump, climb, and dash. The game allows the player room to explore with these concepts, even having the environment instruct these controls to the player via Crow. Speaking of the environment, the falling ice block and crumbling bridge are genius ways to indicate the rule to the player that the mountain is always changing, showing that the mountain is somewhat of an antagonist. Second, the player understands the narrative and themes right out the gate. Between the emotional text at the beginning telling Madeline, the player character, to breathe, and the old woman laughing at us about even attempting to climb this mountain, we understand Celeste. We understand where the main character's at, the uneasiness of the mountain, the theme of anxiety, and the desire to climb said mountain. And considering all of this, most importantly in my heart, the prologue of Celeste is refreshingly short. In my own playthrough, and from what I've seen online, the prologue of Celeste is just under three minutes on average. It does all of what I previously described in this short of a time span. Mm. God damn, Jimmy! This some serious gourmet shit! The truest of quality. I fully understand that there are some exceptions to my criteria of a good prologue. 
For example, Assassin's Creed 2 doesn't adhere to most of what I like in an intro, but I can't help but smile every time I see that logo. There is an underlying reason for it, but that's a story for another time. Getting back on topic, I just wanted to make it clear how Celeste gorgeously demonstrates the power of a prologue. And the funny thing is, and I'm proud to admit it, it's not even the best part of the game. As stated at the beginning of this video, it's just commonly overshadowed. Regardless, it's good to give it spotlight, even if it's only the base of the mountain. Thank you guys so much for making it to the end of this video, it really helps out the channel. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like, and if you want to see more things like this, why not consider subscribing? And regardless of if you liked my points or not, leave a comment down below and tell me what you think. I love hearing your guys' thoughts, but until next time, Johnny.